This interview is part of the History Heard project. The content of this interview may be used for historical research. However, no part of the video itself may re be reproduced without the express written permission of an authorized representative of History Heard. Today is September 27, 2012 at 9.15 a.m. This is an interview with Mr. David Hayes in Washington, D.C. He was born on October 7, 1953 in Rochester, New York. Mr. Hayes graduated from Stanford Law School where he was an editor of the Stanford Law Review and then came to Washington, D.C. where he has had a distinguished career as an environmental lawyer. He has written and lectured widely in the environmental and natural resources field. His many positions of public service include Chairman of the Board of the Environmental Law Institute, Senior Fellow of the World Wildlife Fund, and Vice Chair of the Board of American Rivers. In 2009, Mr. Hayes was nominated by President Obama as Deputy Secretary of the Department of the Interior. And his nomination was confirmed by unanimous vote of the United States Senate. As the second highest ranking official at the Department of the Interior, he oversees the work of the Interior Department's 70,000 employees. Mr. Hayes, could you tell us about your job as Dep Deputy Secretary of the Department of the Interior? What exactly do you do? Well, that's a hard question to answer in a way. We have a big domain here at the Department of the Interior. Uh, we are uh, the primary land manager for the federal government. We, uh, we have about 600 million acres of land under our jurisdiction. The largest landowner in the United States is the Bureau of Land Management with 250 million acres. The National Park System is, a, is about 80 million acres. The National Wildlife Refuge System, 150 million acres. We have the reservations for, for American Indians, about 60 million acres. And we also manage all the offshore resources of the United States, so the uh, oil and gas drilling activities in the Gulf of Mexico, the proposed wind uh, activities off the East Coast. Uh, we, so, and I'm the chief, I'm the number two guy here and the chief operating officer, so I'm responsible for our budget, which is uh, large, that's $14 billion. And, and, uh, and, and our bureaus report up to the secretary and me, so I'm, I sort of do a lot of traffic cop uh, among our various bureaus and, uh, and try to make sure we don't, uh, we're doing the right thing under the law. Right. And then, uh, how does the Environmental Protection Agency fit into the picture? Does it, how does it work with your uh, department? Well, we're, we're, we're an environmental agency from the perspective of natural resources. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we're entrusted with protecting our water resources. Uh, we are the world's largest water supplier through the Bureau of Reclamation. Um, we provide drinking water to 35 million people. So we're the water supply mm -hmm. agency. EPA is water quality. They make sure that drinking water is safe. We help provide the water. We're the primary uh, federal uh, trust uh, 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 sort of entity that handles wildlife resources. So migratory birds, endangered species, uh, these kinds of issues are, are ours. Um, we deal with uh, a lot of river restoration issues. Uh, we're, we're in charge of the Colorado River, which is in the southwest, the, the primary water supply for the southwest. The Secretary of the Interior is the water master of, of that. So we're, we're in the natural resources business. Um, and, uh, and so we're doing a lot of energy work, renewable energy, as well as conventional energy on our, on our natural resources. So EPA is more of the industrial um, regulator of emissions and that sort of thing. Right. We're the natural resource side of the environmental equation. Okay, that makes sense. And then you were appointed by President Obama, who is of course a Democrat. Right. And you took over the Interior Department from a Republican administration with President George W. Bush. What, right. what changed? How can we tell the difference between the two? Well, there's some big differences uh, in philosophy. Um, mm -hmm. In the Bush years, for example, there was uh, sort of a, a single dimension push uh, for oil and gas development on our public lands. Mm -hmm. And um, we have, the president believes that that's an important part of our energy portfolio. In fact, a third of our domestic oil and gas supplies come from the Interior Department lands and offshore resources, so we're a big player. But we have expanded that into renewable energy. Mm -hmm. And when we came into office, for example, there were no utility-scale solar projects on our public lands anywhere, even though we have 
in, in California alone, 25 million acres in the Mojave Desert area of public lands that we manage, no solar development. Um, the president in the State of the Union address in January said by the end of this year, we're gonna have 10,000 megawatts of renewable energy from our public lands. That's through our department. We're gonna reach that goal. That's the equivalent of 30 coal-fired power plants wow. that we will not have to build because we've got utility scale solar and wind projects on our public lands. That's an example of the difference in philosophy. That's great. And then what do you think are the most important issues now facing the Interior Department as a whole? Well, our, our, you know, our primary areas of emphasis are, are uh, our energy development, mm -hmm. um, and and I think uh, there, uh, you know, we went through the uh, the oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. That was our hell to live through mm -hmm. that summer two years ago. So we have upgraded the safety issues of of offshore oil and gas, and we're dealing with whether and how to do oil and gas development in the Arctic. Mm -hmm. um, uh, which is a potentially huge area. So the safety and environmental um, integrity of our of our offshore oil and gas and onshore oil and gas development is key. There's a lot of questions about fracking mm -hmm. uh, for natural gas development. We're in the middle of that and proposing regulations on that. The renewable energy side I mentioned before, mm -hmm. but then we have a big mission in conservation. Uh, we're the we're the agency that that is entrusted with America's treasures. You know, our beautiful landscapes like Yellowstone National Park, you've probably been to Yosemite, mm -hmm. et cetera. And, and how are we going to protect these special places and, and make sure they're there for future generations? That's a big part of it. And then we do a lot with our, uh, we have a special relationship with our uh, Native Americans and Alaska Natives mm -hmm. and, and addressing the serious issues that they face is a big priority for us. And then if President Obama wins a second term, what will happen in the Interior Department? Will, will there be any big changes? And would you care to make some predictions as to what will happen if Ms. President Obama doesn't win these elections? Well, if President Obama doesn't win, I won't be here. I can predict that. Okay. Uh, the, the, um, I'm a political appointee like Ken Salazar, the Secretary of the Interior, mm -hmm. and the, the top posts in the department are political appointees so that we can reflect the priorities of the president right. and we will be gone um, just as i was actually in this job in the clinton administration i was the deputy secretary at the end of the clinton administration and i left when george bush became president okay. um, that's that's the way that's why that's why these elections matter mm -hmm. um, but uh, if if the president gets reelected, as i hope he will i think his his priorities will continue to be um, uh, uh, to be implemented by this department, uh, you know, which includes, um, you know, conservation of our resources and the America's Great Outdoors initiative that that he's that, that he's pushed in that regard, and a safe and responsible development of our resources. It's good to hear.